सी एंड द प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग एम सी क्यूज अज्यूम दैट फाइव फिफ्टी यूनिट्स वर वर्क डॉन ड्यूरिंग अ पीरियड इन विच अ टोटल ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड गुड यूनिट्स वर कंप्लीटेड ओके नॉर्मल स्पॉयलेज कंसिस्टेड ऑफ थर्टी यूनिट्स एब नॉर्मल स्पॉयलेज ट्वेंटी सो इट ऑल टैलीज आउट ऑफ फाइव फिफ्टी थर्टी वॉज नॉर्मल लॉस सो एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट वॉज फाइव ट्वेंटी बट एक्चुअल आउटपुट वॉज फाइव हंड्रेड सो ट्वेंटी विल बी एब नॉर्मल लॉस फर्दर टोटल प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट फॉर टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड दी कंपनी अकाउंट फॉर एब नॉर्मल लॉस सेपरेटली ऑन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट एज लॉस ड्यू टू एब नॉर्मल स्पॉयलेज वी ऑल्सो डू दैट ओनली बेटा वी अकाउंट फॉर एब नॉर्मल लॉस सेपरेटली Normal spoilage is not accounted for separately. We also do not account because normal loss gets absorbed by good units. What is the cost of good units produced? Okay, for that let's try to be finding out the cost per unit first. So cost per good unit, okay, cost per unit produced is direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, factory overhead. That is two thousand two hundred. Less scrap value of normal loss that is not given, so therefore that's nil. So two thousand two hundred divided by expected output. Expected output was five hundred and twenty. So two thousand two hundred divided by five twenty. This will give you cost per unit. Into multiply that thing by they have asked you cost of good units cost of good units that were produced for five hundred okay so multiply that figure by five hundred so accordingly it will be four point two three into five hundred so therefore in this case answer is going to be two one one five let's look at our options searching for two one one five A is not the correct answer. B is the correct answer. C is not the correct answer. D is the correct answer. So answer is B over here. Yeah, that's the correct answer.